we back. <sighs> we made it. Dang, boy. Two trips in the yak. One day. Uh, what is going on today, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Flim. And obviously, it is your boy, Flim, man. And before we get into today's video, I just want to say, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment so you guys don't freaking miss all the adventures that I have planned this spring and this summer, man. Today, I'm out here bringing out the yak, man. And I'm going to have to show you guys what I'm bringing it to. It is a small... Hmm, I guess you could say it's a it's a lake. I think it's classified as a lake, but to me it's just a really, really, really big pond. I don't think you can drop like motorized boats in here. But let me show you guys what's unique about this place and how I know it is a really small body of water. They have a freaking loading dock for kayaks and canoes, man. I've been out here once before. I got skunked, so I didn't film anything, but today I have a freaking special guest. My boy Cameron is going to be joining me. I will leave his um, YouTube channel in the um, link in the description below. He catches fish all the time, especially off the kayak, man. He's caught fish in the kayak so many times, so he's trying to help me get my first bass in the boat, man. So we're going to link up today. We're gonna be doing some fishing. The goal of today is simply just to catch fishing. We're gonna come out here, we're gonna go fishing, we're gonna to try to eat them up. I'm gonna get everything unpacked, and I'm gonna get everything loaded up, and I will see you guys out there on the water. All right, that we good. Yeah, you just pull, and it just slide. Make sure I got everything first. I think I got everything. <laughs> but once I in, I ain't coming back out. The same way? Yeah, you just paddle over here and then grab and then pull up. Cause it got those little, those things right there spin a little bit. They need some grease, but they spin a little bit. Woo! And we are, we are off. Oh, get my little paddle. Go ahead and put this in a boat because I'm gonna have to paddle till I get in some deeper water because this water is really shallow. The bottom is like really soft, but it's pretty shallow. Welcome to the channel, you guys. This is the first time you guys have seen me out on the kayak, and as the day go along, and once I get in deeper water, I kind of show you guys how this kayak works but right now i'm paddling sometimes actually paddling is actually more efficient in this kayak which i know that's kind of hard to believe but it is i was gonna see if we can find this bass i feel like we need to go to this back creek over here since the water is pushing this way uh, the wind is pushing this way oh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough day <laughs> Heck yeah, this wind. It's just blowing me right back to you. But you just drop it in, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then you just press it down, press it down. That's what locks it in. You can use the, the foot pedals, but I found it easy to use this. Maybe if I didn't have shoes on, I would probably use that. But um, the fact that I got shoes on. And that's all you do, man. It's not necessarily about how fast you go. It's necessarily... In my opinion, the full motion, you get the full motion, the range of motion, and that's what makes you go in. That's all it is to it, man. We just out here kicking along and we got a little steering system right there. So if I'm gonna turn right, I just turn it right, pedal, and I just turn right. And it's, honestly, it's easy. I mean, after a few hours or so, yeah, it gets, a little tiring but overall man it's a great kayak so far i've taken it out three or four times but like i said i haven't caught any fish so i haven't um i haven't you know just haven't had any luck on it yet but hopefully that changes the day it's a beautiful day windy it's supposed to be hot today but it's not hot yet so 
we're just gonna get out here and i think i think the goal is to fish this little creek back here i think that's what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna start out with the jackhammer chatterbait white and chartreuse got a little stain to the water and i think that's what i'm gonna start out with cameras behind me Whew. we just found a me and camera just found a hidden gem by to drag these kayaks on a little adventure to get to the water when y'all see this y'all gonna be like yeah if y'all don't catch no fish then i don't know what's gonna happen Got the rise caught. <laughs> and we are almost there through this tall crap. So you guys see this spot. Ka. I can give you a little push. How about say I give you a push because I'm already in the back. I'm going to just scoop. This is the spot, you guys. Look at this thing. I'm just looking past thick at it. This is the spot right here, you guys. Oh, yeah. She moved just fine. Looking past all the way on the outside. Middle open. Fish the egg. Yeah. Throw some top water. And we're going to be all freaking good, man. Let's drop the yak. In get in the water you guys make sure my seat strapped down <laughs> y'all gonna see hidden gems man hidden freaking gems Ugh. I hope it ain't this hard getting out. That's what I thought about. Honestly, that's what I thought about. <laughs> I think I got everything. Good to go. <sighs> we out here now. Oh yeah, we here now. Hidden gems. Yeah, you catch a fish on the top water. I'm tying one on. <laughs> Until then, I think I'm gonna fish the edge wherever the wind at. That's where I'm going. Also. Right, so. Cameron is already on the freaking board, man, with the whopper plopper. I thought I had a whopper plopper, but I don't. I have the buzz bait, and I think it will be just fine, man. So Cameron was casting along that bank over there. I think I'm going to go on this bank. I've never had a chance to fish this bank before. So I think I'm going to do that. And like I was telling you guys earlier, I don't think this pond is deep. Got one. Stripe. Yes, sir. Oh, he got off. No. He came off, bro. Oh, my God. 
He came up. Was I recording? Oh my goodness. <sighs> he came off. He came off. It's probably about a pound and a half, pound. Oh my goodness, man. Crazy thing was, you guys, he didn't even eat it top water. Like, if you guys never fished a buzz bait before, the buzz bait doesn't float, so it goes under. And I seen him swirl, and I threw it on top of his head, and he ate it. And as I was literally started to reel to pick it up out the water, he had already freaking munched it, man. Oh my god. right on the edge of the lilies i think we found a hidden gem 100 percent 100 percent we found a hidden gem man well folks that is going to do it for today's video man me and my boy cameron linked up put the yaks in the water and we got the job done he got the job done i kind of got the job done I don't know. I'm going to count that fish, but I don't know. I had two at one spot, and I believe he caught two or three. So we definitely got on him, and we got out here at 1 or 2 o'clock. So just imagine if we came out here early morning or late evening, we definitely would catch some top water fish. So um, I don't know. Well, I guess make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. I will leave Cameron's channel down below be sure to go check his page out man he's always catching fish he's catching fish in the kayak he's doing it all man so go check him out and um you guys stay tuned man and have a blessed day man stay safe love you guys peace